10 short days in Afghanistan, I'd written two stories, taken a pair of breathtaking helicopter rides with the U.S. military, snapped hundreds of photos, made a handful of bad decisions, and suffered through the mother of all stomach flus. But the day before heading back home to Cairo, I was determined to witness a fabled Buskashi match, one of which was said to be taking place on the outskirts of Kabul. I shot some quick video that day with my flip cam. Here it is for your viewing pleasure. Hundreds of Afghans had gathered to watch a handful of men square off on horseback. This was an individual event and the rules were simple. Carry a headless calf around a distant flag, bring it back to the screaming throngs, and drop it inside a chalk circle. All while a herd of competitors try to cut you off and steal the calf from your grip. Do this and you earn a wad of cash from the game's patron seated somewhere in the crowd. It's such a great spectator sport that sometimes the crowd itself even gets involved. That's because there's no barrier preventing the horses from crashing through the audience. Many find the trucks present a safer platform for viewing. These games were set up to celebrate the inauguration of President Hamid Karzai the day before. And while chatting with the spectators that morning, I learned a couple of interesting Buskashi facts. First, Buskashi fans in Kabul think that they play what is unquestionably the burliest version of the game. In other regions, the game is played with a headless goat, which weighs less. Or, players are allowed to strap the animal to their saddle. Nothing quite so wimpy here. Much of Afghanistan lived without its beloved sport for many years under the Taliban. But now it's back, and ambitions have never been loftier. Many here are looking to make Buskashi a regional sport, and eventually to promote it as an Olympic event. Some riders say they'd even be willing to play with an artificial calf. That's for the more sensitive Western sensibilities.